So here we go, quarterfinal number four here in Tlaxcala. It's Kuo Tzu Jing of Chinese Taipei up against An San of Korea. On target number one, representing Chinese Taipei, Kuo Tzu Ying. Target number two, representing Korea, An San. The line judge for this match is Hussein Nasiri. So, Choi Mi Sun and An San, the two Koreans at the top and bottom of the order. Choi came through her quarterfinal against Bryony Pittman, but it wasn't plain sailing. Are we going to expect something different here from An San? It's going to be a tight match. I think Ansan's probably got, uh, you know, a better chance, but let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. Made history at the Tokyo Olympic Games, winning three gold medals, the first archer to do that. And it will be Ansan to get the match underway yeah. and straight in to the centre of the target. Siete. Yes. Youngest lineup here, and just 21 years old, world number one. Kuo Tzu Ying, just 19 years old. Yes. And she's found the middle of the target. That's a good recovery. Yeah, it really is. She needed that. She needs to put some kind of pressure on to understand. Even if this set has gone, she needs some confidence really? into the next. Well, this set has gone. Kuo cannot level up to 29. But does find the middle of the target, so a bit more confidence going into the second set. But the first two set points go to An San, and uh, it was the start we expected, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, An San is just such an amazing archer. First time the Olympics had the mixed team, she took away all three gold medals from Tokyo Olympics, and but it's taken a while to come back. You know, she only got back onto the podium in the fourth and final stage of the World Cup in Colombia. Can she continue that form? So far, she has. Kuo, though, she uh, started to look strong after that seven. Yeah, again, a bit high, wasn't it? So whether it was just a bit of a, an error with the sight mark coming into this venue, and then she looked confident with that, that 10 and a 9 follow-up. So 2-0 lead for An San of Korea. The second seed for this competition over Kuo Tzu Ying. So the athlete from Chinese Taipei will shoot first in the second set. Yes. Take a look at those front fingers. I think that is just yes. nervous tension. <laughs> Twitching away there, yeah. yeah. Is she still <laughs> banging it into the tens? Yes. It has a chance here, Quo, to level up. If the fidgety fingers are working, don't stop. That's what I say. Let's see the movement. Po puts it into the 9 for a 29, so a very, very solid score there. And a bit of pressure on An San here, needs a 10 to level up in the set. She puts it into the 9 for a 28, and we're all square. We've got a match on our hands here, Nikki. Yeah, we really do. Two oh, such great athletes. Like you say, very young as well, 19 and 22. An San... Triple Olympic champion from Tokyo. Qualified by winning in Medellin at the last stage of the Hinder Country World Cup circuit. Is two time stage winner. Took her bronze at the 2021 World Championships. But uh, what a fight back from Kuo Tzu Ying. 
Qualified by ranking, fifth in Antalya, fourth in Guangzhou, seventh in Paris and Medellin. And needed a 10 there with the last arrow. Only got an 8, and that has... Oh, sorry, only got a 9, and that's leveled things up. Two set points apiece here in quarterfinal number 4. The women's competition on Recurve Sunday. Is this one going to turn around here in set number three? <sighs> Group just opening up. I was going to say that all those arrows on the left and some, but that one now going over to the right. Nueve. So this is in Quo's hands. And San needs to put down a 10 to put some kind of pressure on her. Just into the nines for a 26. So the set points are close with an eight. She puts it in the nine for a 28 here. And we have got a potential upset on our hands here. And San came out with a 10 10 9 to take the first set. Matched by Quo in the second set when An San shot a 10 9 9. And in that set, we've got an 899 from Ansan. What is going on? This is very un Korean like. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not what we expected, is it? It's definitely, you know, Ansan is, I'd say, one of the favourites here. I think Choi on the other side, the, the cut, my favourite anyway. But, you know, she's got a massive following, huge fans after Tokyo Olympics. And I think all well, that brings pressure with it as well, expectation. Yeah, weight of expectation huge. And both these countries are uh, perhaps affected more than others by the uh, global pandemic and being unable to travel. Not not because they weren't able to travel from their countries, but once they got back, having to go into very strict quarantine. So they basically stayed at home for the best part of three years. And San, 4-2 down. Needs to win at set number four and starts fantastically well the Koreans only came back into the World Cups in Guangzhou but actually the Chinese Taipei team this year traveled they were on the road from yeah. March all the way through to July they've had this amazing season and we saw a uh, compatriot in the the last quarter final but actually three of the Chinese Taipei team could have made these finals that's how good they've been this season because they've committed to it but only two from each nation can come yeah that's uh, you know, a good point they've been away for the best part of a year uh, because it was the only way that they could Ocho. compete. And now an opportunity here. A nine will be enough for Ansan to level up four set points. Nueve. And she gets that nine. So back up where we expect the scores to be for the Korean. And this score can't be matched by yes. Quo, even though she shot a ten. So four apiece, and we have one heck of a match on our hands. Final set to come. And it's a bit up and down, isn't it, at the moment? Or oh, you'd say the momentum is with Anne, but she went 2 0 up. Quo came back and leveled up. Quo then took the advantage, went 4 2 up, and now Anne Sands leveling up. Who knows what's going to happen over the next six arrows? I think it's down to whether Quo can really keep her nerves here. There's so much tension in these shots. And Sans, classic, nice execution there. She's keeping these shots going. But for me, Quo, look at that front hand and how it's affecting that front uh, forearm as well. Those pressures and are changing and moving and she's shooting remarkably well under the stress. So the all important Set number five, Kuo Tzu Ying of Chinese Taipei up against An San of Korea, and it's the Korean who will shoot the first arrow of the fifth set yes. straight into the ten. Yes. 
the pressure's on. And Sam relishes it. This is done with a nine from San. She got the nine and that is it done, I'm afraid, for Kuo to Ying. She'll want to finish with the best possible score. Yeah. Does put it into the 10, but a 28 is not enough in the fifth set. And An San's been pushed all the way here, but she has completed the win in the quarterfinals. Not the most convincing, you have to say, but she has done it. Yeah, I think I expected Dara to say a bit more from Ansan. I thought she'd come out and really smash it, but taken all the way by Ko there. What a fantastic archer she is, 19 years old, and we're going to see her again and again.